Hey YouTube, welcome back to Sekiro. Last we left off, we were about to face off one of the bosses. And that rumbling is an indication that we're really close. We're going to handle a few bosses today. We're going to do the snake, which isn't technically a boss, but it still gives me the shivers nonetheless. The bull, Gyobu, and maybe if we're feeling spicy, a Genichiro. If you guys feel like helping your girl out, feel free to leave a like and comment on this video or follow my socials, or both. But for now, sit down, strap in, and let's get started. Mm. I'm not afraid of snakes in real life. I don't know why this encounter freaks me out so badly. And during my first playthrough, I royally messed up the... Hello? During my first playthrough, I royally messed up the order of events. So I kind of encountered the snake. Oh my God, I'm already messing it up. <laughs> I mean, we're okay. We don't have a lot of money. I bought a lot of light coin purses before. <gasps> Famous last words. I peeked when I should have sneaked. Hello again. It's fine, I'm sure. Ah, uh, go, go, go. <gasps> what the heck? Hey, that's the first time I've ever messed that up. <laughs> and always terrifying when you do. Cool. We'll see you later, a snake. Not the last time we'll be seeing them. Sweet Tooth, my name is Wolf. I rarely use the treats in my first playthrough. Mostly because I was so afraid to use items in general because I knew how sparse they were. So rather than risk running out of something, I just never used it. But then what was the point of saving it if I wasn't even gonna use it? Oh, I have learned better now, sort of. I have a gourd seed. Huh, I've never read this. The snap seed gr naturally grows in ravines and deep valleys. According to denizens of the sunken valley, such places are appropriate for offering oneself in marriage to the great serpent. If one wishes to become a bride, they must enter the belly of the serpent in the valley. I have a lot of friends who love ASMR and people were asking me to do ASMR stuff. And I don't know how I would incorporate that into Souls-like games. I was thinking that maybe I should read some of the inventory items like the ornamental letter. I would read that out loud, but I would whisper it. A letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent. Stay vigilant. Um, I, I don't know. If that's something you guys would like, let me know. And oh. I can get all of the items in this game and just read them out loud into one video. Heels, please. I ended up backtracking a little bit just so I could grab a prayer bead and up to my vitality. I have a lot of money. I would rather not lose. So we're going to see what we can buy from the merchants, both of them. And then we'll fight our first uh, boss boss, which I guess technically the ogre is a boss because you can't progress forward until you beat him. But Gyobu is definitely one of the bigger spectacles. And if you are needing a prayer bead, like an extra one, because you're like one shy of a vitality increase, you can go to uh, the Harada estate, even though that whole area is optional. And when you fight the Shinobi hunter and defeat him, all you have to do is be good on your Makiri counters. Uh, he'll drop a prayer bead. This area always makes me super sad because if you eavesdrop, <laughs> he's mourning his horse, but he's giving you a hint that for Gyobu, oh, what? How did he see me? Sorry about your horse. Maybe it's because I wasn't crouching. But he's giving you a hint that if you use the firecrackers, you can spook the horse Gyobu is on and get a few extra hits in. Very handy trick. And Gyobu's a fun fight too. I like how we have all of this room to maneuver him. If you haven't heard his English voice acting, uh, you're doing yourself a disservice. And there's the firecracker spook. Try not to let him get too much distance because then he can recover his posture. He likes to swing a golf club at you. Uh, when I attempted him at first, 
He was so difficult, but I pretty much have the timing down for him. I can almost do him um, hitless, almost. <laughs> I would love to do a challenge run where I attempt all the bosses hitless. I think I'll, <laughs> I'll do that after I attempt this game without a lock on. I think that's, that would be another fun challenge run. Stay down, get off your horse. It's mine now. Oh, poor horse. He's like, whoa, my master's dead. All right, thank you very much. We got a memory. Mechanical barrel, a mechanical metal barrel that can be given to the sculptor to enable prosthetic tool upgrades. Oh, I was wondering when I get the upgrade thing. And I think this is the first boss that we can reflect on too. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe, although distant, recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf. Yobu Oniwa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin, was so captivated by his show of strength that he took him in as an Ashina warrior. Oniwa would later go on to become Genichiro Ashina's most trusted retainer, then defeated by me. Yeah, it enhances your attack power. So this is what I am doing the Shura ending to completion for is so that I can collect all the reflections of strength and practice the bosses for speedruns so we can be speedy boys. I am super grateful for everything that they gave me during that fight, but did they not give me any money? We'll see more of these guys later. Ooh, gourd seed. I'll take it actually. Can we? <laughs> How come it says I can carry 99 gourd seeds? I can't, can I? Aren't there like only a limited amount? Sekiro. That's the name of the game! There's only one person who calls us Sekiro in this game, which is a big hint to who this is. Let's go rat hunting. I don't think I've ever actually read this. I just sort of went with it. A description of the rats that have snuck into Ashina. Speak to the Tengu again once the rats are dealt with. Short stature, they wear bamboo hats. Oh, those things! The little, like, trolls or gremlins or whatever they are. A number of rats are lurking about. Last seen around Ashina Castle Gate. Yeah, I... Okay, uh, um, they're tough to kill because the bamboo hats are basically like a shell of uh, protection. So the loaded axe prosthetic really help with defeating them. Another reason to visit the Harata estate, just because it's optional doesn't mean it doesn't give you really useful items. Excellent. You're just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where am I going now? Na 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 na! Oh, another prayer bead. Can't have too many of these things. Okay, so including the snake, that was the second biggest hurdle to come across. Now we have to fight probably one of the biggest pains in the ass. I would say this is second to the ogre. Is the bull. And if you guys are struggling to get through this bottom area, because there's a few bosses, um, especially big heavy bosses, um, this is a shortcut. Just whoop 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 through the side of the mountain. You can skip all of that and then you can do some aerial attacks. Although I do recommend going through there because you do get quite a bit of money and uh, XP and a little bit of foreshadowing of the battleground for future fights. Explore everything. It's one of the fun things about this game for sure. So equip your firecracker and pray. <laughs> That's really all the advice I have for this boss. Give him some space, don't be too aggro. Try not to get burned. Ow, ow, hot. Oh, shoot. Once you're burned, that's kind of it. Was I not locked onto him? And you can parry his headbutting too. You just have to be kind of careful. Like, I wasn't. <laughs> Wait, why am I back here? I have died before. There's no reason for me to be back here. Your death is not your fate. Just yet. I know. That's why I'm confused I'm here. Oh, okay. So, um, I guess Rot has finally started taking over people. The more one with the power of the dragon's heritage dies, the more a sickness known as dragon rot spreads through the world. Dragon rot is not caused by resurrection. It has a chance to occur only when the wolf truly dies repeatedly. Like, okay, I've died like twice. The more rot essence wolf has, the lower the chances of receiving unseen aid. And basically unseen aid is like, I get an opportunity to keep my money and to keep my experience. And if that falls really low, then the less of a chance I get that assistance. Uh, but I can clear this up with something I don't have in my inventory. I think it's called a dragon tear. <laughs> and it's very important that you use the dragon tear in the idle menu because I was using it willy nilly 
from my inventory and it turns out I was just throwing it away. Don't worry, I'm doing you a favor. Back off, back off, back off. I really don't want that burn. Shoot, not again. Oh, a death death. He was really aggro this time. I'm trying not to be greedy, but at the same time you have to be kind of aggro with him. There we go. Oh, I barely did that by the skin of my teeth. He was a prayer bead too? Yeah, honestly, kind of worth it. Pop a pellet just because my health is not doing great. What, you want some too? Here, I have enough to go around. Hello, little gremlin lady. I have, yeah. Everyone's been talking about it. Now, there's two people there. I'm not sure who she's referring to, but that was the three main bosses that I was uh, mentioning at the beginning of this video. The snake, the bull, and Gyobu. As a bonus, we're going to take care of this guy at the base of the castle, uh, just to get him out of the way. Oh. So when we reach a certain point at this castle, I do hear a whistle. I, And I thought it was one of the enemies <laughs> announcing their arrival. I didn't know that was Lord Kuro. This area can be a huge pain because he can be kind of chonky in terms of HP, but he also has all of these <laughs> soldiers and um, they all are armed. So I'm going to take him out or take out one of his postures, one of his death blows, and then lure the rest of them and try to take him out. Cool. I didn't do any of that. I missed. Well, that was embarrassing. Let me try that again. I'm not known for my precision in aerial attacks. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought I had gotten a second posture damage on him. All right, not bad at all. It took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but... Oh, glad, 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 glad he's taken care of. Cool. I haven't got some money from it, too. Let me just heal up a bit, because where we're going next, the Ashina Castle is not for the weak. I, for as many times as I've done playthroughs of it, not full playthroughs, but just exploring and traveling around, Ashina Castle is somewhere I still have so much trouble with. Um, but we're going to attempt our arc nemesis. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss when that video goes live. I post Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. I'm doing a lot of Sekiro videos. I'm going to be doing some Elden Ring videos as well as Wukong as soon as that comes out. I'm super stoked for that. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and sharing, watching the video, leaving comments. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.